Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on ibuprofen for adults. So ibuprofen is a medicine called a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Ibuprofen is used to treat painful conditions such as arthritis, sprains and strains, period pain, migraine, headaches, dental pain and pain after surgical operations. It eases pain and reduces inflammation. Ibuprofen can also be used to relieve cold and flu-like symptoms, including high temperature. <clears throat> Ibuprofen works by blocking the effect of natural chemicals called cyclooxygenase or COX enzymes. These enzymes help to make other chemicals in the body called prostaglandins. Some prostaglandins are produced at sites of injury or damage and cause pain and inflammation. By blocking the effect of COX enzymes, fewer prostaglandins are produced, which means pain and inflammation are eased. Ibuprofen is available on prescription and you can also buy a number of preparations which contain ibuprofen without a prescription at pharmacies. So ibuprofen is available as tablets, capsules, granules, oral liquid, modified release tablets and oral dispersible tablets. Ibuprofen is also available as a gel which can be applied directly to your skin to help relieve muscle and joint pain. So the usual dose for adults is 200 to 400 milligram of ibuprofen three to four times daily if needed. The dose will be different to this however if you've been prescribed a tablet which releases ibuprofen slowly called a modified release tablet. These tablets are usually taken only once a day or sometimes maybe twice a day. There are several different brands of tablets and capsules available. So always remember to check the label of your pack to make sure you are taking the recommended amount. If you've been prescribed a modified release form of ibuprofen, such as brufen retard, swallow the tablet or capsule whole with a glass of water. Do not break or crush the tablets. If you've been prescribed a sachet containing ibuprofen granules, such as brufen granules, Mix the contents of the sachet into a glass of water to make it fizzy drink. Drink it straight away after mixing it. So Nurofen, the 200 milligram standard tablet, you swallow two tablets with water and if necessary, take one or two tablets every four hours afterwards. Do not exceed six tablets in 24 hours. For Nurofen 200 milligram liquid capsules, swallow two capsules with water. Then if necessary, you can take one or two capsules every four hours. And again, do not take more than six capsules in 24 hours. And do not chew the capsules. For Advil, cold and flu, you take one or two tablets every four to six hours as required. The tablets should be taken with water. Take only as much as you need and leave at least four to six hours between each dose. Do not take more than six tablets in any 24 hour period. If symptoms persist for more than three days, contact your doctor. For Nurofen gel, squeeze four to 10 centimeters of gel from the tube to the affected area and massage gently until absorbed. Leave for four hours between doses and do not apply more than four times in any 24 hour period. Hands should be washed immediately after use. Do not exceed the stated dose and don't use this gel if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. For Nurofen Express maximum strength to 400 milligram tablet, Take one tablet, and if necessary, you can take one tablet every four hours afterwards. Don't take any more than three tablets in 24 hours. Ibuprofen is best taken with food. This will help protect your stomach from the side effects, such as indigestion. So common side effects of ibuprofen include indigestion, heartburn, stomach pain, feeling sick or diarrhea. Tell your doctor if you notice any unusual symptoms, especially dark bowel motions, vomiting blood or stomach pains. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember, unless your next dose is due. If your next dose is due, then take the dose which is due, but leave out the forgotten dose. Do not take two tablets together to make up for an earlier missed dose. If you take more ibuprofen than you should, you must consult your doctor immediately. Your doctor will try to prescribe you the lowest dose for the shortest time to reduce the risk of side effects. If you need to take ibuprofen for a long time, your doctor may want to prescribe another medicine along with it to protect your stomach from irritation. 
If you bought ibuprofen over the counter, take it as a short course of treatment. You should stop taking it once the pain or the high temperature has gone. If you have asthma, such as wheeze or breathlessness, these can be made worse by anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen. If this happens to you, you should stop taking ibuprofen and see your doctor as soon as possible. So consult your doctor before taking ibuprofen if you have asthma, kidney or liver or heart problems, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, high blood pressure, heart failure, lupus or have previously experienced stomach bleeding. Do not take ibuprofen if you're allergic to ibuprofen or any of the ingredients of these products. If you've experienced an allergic reaction when taking other similar medicines such as aspirin, if you're already taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug or have a stomach ulcer, there is no known to be a small increased risk of heart and blood vessel problems in people taking some anti-inflammatory painkillers, particularly if taken long term. If you are concerned about this, speak with a healthcare professional for more information. If you are prescribed ibuprofen, your doctor will prescribe the lowest suitable dose for the shortest time in order to reduce the risk. If you have purchased ibuprofen, do not take more than the recommended dose. Consult your doctor before use if you are in the first six months of pregnancy. Do not use ibuprofen in the last three months of pregnancy. Ibuprofen can pass in very small concentrations into breast milk with no harmful effects. Therefore, it is not necessary to interrupt breastfeeding for short-term treatment at the recommended dose. If you buy any medicines, always check with a pharmacist that they are suitable for you to take with any other medicines you are taking. Now also, do not take ibuprofen with any other anti-inflammatory painkillers, some of which are available in cold and flu remedies, which can be bought over the counter. Do not take ibuprofen with aspirin, corticosteroids, digoxin, antihypertensives, warfarin, lithium, methotrexate, cyclosporin, quinoline, ACE inhibitors, or some medicines to treat diabetes. So if you have any questions, you can contact me through the Life Pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.